The toothpick itself has a triangular shape to it. It's flat on the bottom and curved at the top. Hold the toothpick between the thumb and first finger, holding one third near the end. The second finger should be curved inwards towards the palm of the hand, and the other two fingers should be curved so that they rest on the chin. The flat surface is placed downward so it fits into the triangular space through the teeth. Start at the front. This is the easiest place to get to. Push the toothpick in and out ten times. Pass the tip of the toothpick around touching the surface of the next tooth until you reach the next gap. This ensures that you do not miss a space. Push in and out ten times and so on, ten times between each gap until you reach the last gap. With practice it is possible to reach all the gaps between the teeth even at the back of the mouth. To ensure the toothpick is always at right angles to the gap, the end of the toothpick needs to be taken further back when moving round. If the end isn't taken further back and the toothpick is pushed in like this, Eventually it will bend and could break. If the tip of the toothpick becomes bent, it is because it is not being inserted at the correct angle. Occasionally push the toothpick in and let go of it. The toothpick will tend to straighten to the correct direction. Having done that part of the mouth, go back to the centre again and slide round to the next gap ten times. Sliding round again, insert ten times and so on until you have completed that part of the mouth. Then turn the toothpick over so the flat surface is upwards. Tilt the toothpick downward slightly. Place the second finger in the palm of the hand and bend these two fingers and rest on the chin. Place the toothpick between the front teeth so that the flat part is upwards and the curved part is downwards. Push in and out ten times. Slide round to the next gap, keeping the toothpick on the tooth so the next gap can be felt. Again move in and out ten times and continue to do so in between each tooth on to the last gap. Then go to the centre again, pointing slightly downwards to avoid the gum on the palate. Then to the next gap, sliding round the tooth again, in and out ten times, and so on to the last gap. To start with, for the first ten days to two weeks it may well be painful and there may well be bleeding, but it is important to keep going with the cleaning until the gums become healthy. So if it bleeds, work harder. If it hurts, work harder. Do it 20 times instead of 10 times and the result will be the gums will get healthier.